Hello to all. Today we are going to discuss about a very important law given by the Mendel and that is known as the law of independent assortment. It was the law given by the Mendel which is most controversial and it is mostly criticized. And this law is based on the dihybrid cross. The previous laws which you have studied that was known as the law of the dominance and the law of segregation were based on the monohybrid cross. But this law is based on the dihybrid cross and we know very well that dihybrid cross is a cross in which we take two pair of contrasting characters for the cross. Now to understand in a better way that what do we mean by the independent assortment here I have written a definition that according to this law the inheritance of one factor is not affected by the inheritance of another one that is the inheritance of one factor is independent of the inheritance of the another factor. We can also define this law in this manner also that the factor of each character, factor means genes, the factor of each character are distributed into the gametes independently of the factor of any other character and any one of a pair of characteristic may combine with any one of another pair of the characteristics. Okay, now see here, both the characters recombine independently. Why have we have used the term both? Because we are actually studying the dihybrid cross. And in dihybrid cross, we take two pair of the contrasting characters. Okay, so both the characters recombine independently from each other during gamete formation in the F1 generation. Both the characters, I have taken two characters here. Okay, one is known as the seed shape and another is known as the seed color okay so i have taken capital r capital r capital y capital y capital r is for the round seed and small r is for the wrinkled seed y is for the yellow seed and small y is for the wrinkled seed so i have taken two pair of the contrasting characters i want to see when these characters will recombine okay so what will happen at the time of the gamete formation in F1 generation? They are actually what happens that both the characters recombine independently from each another. When they will combine at the time of the gamete formation, they will recombine independently. Okay. Now see here. What I want to say that this is one factor. Right. This is one factor. This is another factor. This is one factor. This is another factor. When they will combine with each other, a F1 generation is produced. Say for capital R, small r, capital Y, small y genotype is produced. And we can name this genotype of the F1 generation round yellow. Why? Because capital R is dominant over small r and capital Y is dominant over small y. So round yellow. Now what I want to say that factor R of a pair factor capital R small r factor R of a pair factor that is capital R small r means this one okay factor R of pair factor is having equal chance to combine with capital Y or small y means I want to say that this capital R can combine equally with capital Y and small y to form two type of the gametes say for when capital R combined with capital Y it forms capital R capital Y gamete and when capital R combines with small y it forms capital R small y gamete in the same way the factor R of a pair factor capital R small r means this R this R factor of this pair capital R small r is having the equal chance to combine with capital Y and small y. So when small r will combine with capital Y, it will form a gamete small r capital Y. And when small r will combine with small y, it will be forming the small r small y. Like this we can say that by this genotype of the F1 generation, we can produce four type of the gametes. See here. Therefore, during gamete formation in F1 generation. Therefore, during gamete formation in F1 generation, 
independent recombination is possible independent recombination is possible means both the capital R and small r are having the equal chance to combine with capital Y and small y so this is for the round and this is for the wrinkled seed this is y is for the yellow color small y is for the green color means both the characters you can see here both the characters have recombined both the characters have recombined independently from each other during the gamete formation in F1 generation you can strictly see that they have recombined independently and that's why this law is also called as the independent assortment in F2 generation plant produce two new phenotypes now what we see that when we will be selfing the F1 generation means when capital R small r capital Y small y is crossed with the same genotype capital R small r capital Y small y so we know very well that in a dye hybrid toss a checkerboard will be formed and that checkerboard is actually consisting of the 16 boxes okay so in that you can see that the phenotypic ratio of the dihybrid toss was 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 now round yellow were 9 round green were 3 wrinkled yellow were 3 and wrinkled green were 1 what I want to say that in F2 generation because of this independent assortment two new phenotypes are produced right so inheritance of seed color is independent from the inheritance of the seed shape because we have taken two we have taken seed color as well as we have taken the seed shape right and the two the production of the two phenotypes new phenotypes in the f2 generation suggests that the independent of the seed that is the seed color is independent of the inheritance of the seed shape. See here, 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1. We have taken the parents as round yellow and wrinkled green. So it's okay that round yellow is produced here and wrinkled green are produced here. But what about these two? You can see that I have not taken these phenotypes in the parents. Okay round green this is the new phenotype produced and wrinkled yellow this is the new phenotype produced what does this suggest that these two phenotypes are produced because of the independent assortment otherwise these recombinants may not have been produced so this is the independent assortment so keep watching my videos we will be coming soon with few more videos based on genetics. If you want to take the screenshot of this video, you can take.